Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, November 13th, 2018 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And we do have more BGP-based routing attacks to talk about. At least it sort of looks like an attack against Google caused an outage in some of Google's cloud services. Cloud service monitoring company Thousand Eyes first noted the problem and what they saw was that the traffic was redirected to China, Russia and an ISP in Nigeria. Now, the main problem that then led to an outage was that, well, China is dropping Google's traffic so it never actually got routed back to Google once it entered China. Sort of a problem with a lot of these routing attacks is that they often go unnoticed, uh, but in this case, because China dropped traffic, they actually then resulted in a denial of service. No real idea yet who is behind it or if this was intentional or if this was just another accident. Earlier, we also had some outages with Facebook that were routing related, but according to Facebook, this was related to a test that apparently didn't work out quite right. And then we have another tool in the fight to get old CPUs microcode updated to protect them from the Spectre vulnerability. If you have a modern up-to-date operating system, then that really shouldn't be a big problem for you because these operating systems did deliver new microcode as a patch, like for example in Windows and you should be all good. But yes, there are still a lot of people out there that are using no longer supported operating operating systems and for them it was kind of difficult to apply this patch. You can find the microcode online but you have to find the right microcode for your CPU. Apparently there are something like 2,900 different CPU versions out there that are affected by Spectre. To make things easier someone now released a bootable USB stick that essentially comes preloaded with all these different microcodes it will on boot identify your CPU and if necessary patch the microcode. All of this is free to download so once you have created that USB stick then all you need to do is boot your system from this USB stick. Now Word of caution here, of course, I don't know who exactly the person is that created this USB stick. Everything I've seen so far makes it look like this particular tool is genuine and does what it's supposed to do. According to VirusTotal, there are two antivirus tools that identify as malware. Now, I don't know those antivirus tools. So again, these could be some fringe antivirus tools that don't necessarily are very careful in applying their signatures. And since uh, this USB stick is bootable, there may be some generic signatures that will just flag bootable USB sticks. And well, GDPR, the famous European Privacy Directive, uh, is supposed to make users' data more private and more secure. And well, according to some, it has accomplished some of this mission, but not if you are running WordPress and you installed the GDPR compliance plugin. This particular plugin adds a number of features to WordPress, like for example, the ability to delete all data related to it user or allow users to download their data. But sadly, it also adds a number of severe vulnerabilities. These vulnerabilities allow an attacker to rewrite your privileges and, well, essentially put all the data on your WordPress install at risk. And according to WordFans who found this vulnerability, this vulnerability is currently actively being exploited. An exploit is widely available. So don't lose any time and patch this plugin. If you have downloaded the plugin today or last uh, couple days, you probably received already the up-to-date version, but uh, double check and make sure you're up-to-date. 
Well, and yesterday I mentioned that I was speaking earlier today at the OVASP meeting here in Jacksonville. If you're interested, the talk was recorded and should be online on the OVASP Jacksonville website within the next few days. Well, uh, that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.